Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be talking about the White House and how black people are essentially leaving in droves. And I can't possibly be surprised considering the fact, you know, uh, maybe the fact that Biden is a racist person and nobody wants to really call that out. Let's get into it. Blackset, White House sees massive exodus of black staffers. A significant number of black staffers have left the Biden White House over the past few months, with some alleging a negative work environment that does not present any opportunities to advance their careers, political reported Tuesday. And I could probably explain exactly why that is. Um, maybe because they're only diversity hires, so they can get woke points for having a diverse group of people without giving them an actual chance to be, you know, to move up in the world, right? So... That's, that's one of the reasons why. Two, Kamala Harris is a tyrant and she is horrible to work with from reports being shown. And so a lot of people just don't want to have to deal with her. Not only that, th that they're probably, you know, the whole Biden administration is racist. Oh, uh oh, I'm in trouble. Listen, you got to come see us when you come to New York, VP Biden. Cause it's I a, will. It's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more okay. questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. It don't have nothing to do with Trump. It has to do with the fact I want something for my community. We should challenge students in these schools to have advanced placement programs in these schools. We have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids, wealthy kids, black kids, Asian kids. I really mean it, but think how we think about it. Here I saw that made me aware when I was in law school, proudly for Holloway, proudly for your dad, first African-American state senator in the state of, in the state of Delaware. Everything about. And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They'd look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. So, you know, that may also be the case. Beginning with Vice President Kamala Harris, Senior Advisor and Chief Spokesperson Simon Sanders in December, at least 21 black staffers have departed or plan to depart the White House, Political reported. Some of the staffers have started calling the development blacks it due to how noticeable the trend is. They, th they brought in a ton of black people generally to start without ever establishing an infrastructure to retain them or help them be successful, a black staffer currently working on the White House told Politico. If there is no clear infrastructure of how to be successful, you can become as just as invisible in this space than you would be if you were not in it and then again that just show improving that their whole narrative and their whole point was just to have a dive a show that they have a diverse group of people again these people the democrats don't necessarily care about black people because they only want to look like they care by having more black people or more lgbtq people in there but they don't really care here's the thing if you want to care about black people why not just hire people that are good for the job regardless whether they're black or not because at the end of the day you're only hiring them for one specific reason is for the skin color not really for the actual merits of how good they are and then too if you want to help the lgbtq people people why not treat them into an actual medical facility where they can get proper treatment and not have them go through through the sex hormones which by the way makes them infertile by the way so if that's the case then why not try to help them? Because we're all doing these things back ass backwards, mostly the Democrats, and these are the huge problems that I see. Now again, of course, Demo Republicans are also not, are at fault too, but again, I'm not seeing very many Republicans pushing this narrative, and any Republican that is deserves to be called out too. However, what we're seeing is it's just mostly Democrats, and this is by a large majority, by a good large majority. So, 
where they're curious or to curious to why there is there this is the case but when anybody else can think straight ahead and look at all the previous things that they that they have done go to going to companies like disney netflix um and all these and those type of companies to where they're they're where they're saying oh we're hiring more diverse group cast or whatever and they look and then you end up coming out with Netflix with the Netflix specifically saying oh well we're not getting anywhere in the job or it just looks like we were just being hired for whatever when they never had the chance of going up this is the same case here if people cannot put the dots together onto how these two scenarios are not connected i don't know it's, it's just it's game over for you because you're apparently too dumb to under to realize the connection there while some of the staffers said they left on good terms with the with the administration, the departures allegedly affected the morale of the White House, exer exacerbating the problems that already existed. Staffers told Politico, "Public engagement had Cedric Richardson's decision to leave reportedly severely diminished the spirits of those still in the administration." One staffer told Politico that Richmond was seen as a big brother and the voice of those folks. Political reported. Another another said he was a nucleus for black staffers, adding there no there no one had been able to fill his shoes since he left. Richmond told Politico that the administration had done more than those before before it get it to give young black staffers great responsibi responsibilities that were most that were that most were simply leaving for better opportunities i heard about an ex exodus of black staffers from the white house black say and i'm unconcerned spencer over Overton, president of Joint Center for Political, Political and Economic Studies, told Political, black voters accounted for 22% of the President, vo President Biden's voters in November 2020. It is essential that black staffers are not only recruited to serve in senior, mid-level, and junior White House positions, but are also included in major policy and personal decisions and have opportunities for advancement, he said. A number of staffers expressed frustration with Deputy Ch Chief of Chief of Staff Jen O'Malley dealing for failing to retain and promote black employees. Other officials said the blame was misplaced as Dylan only signs off on promotions rather than making decisions herself. The president is incredibly proud to have built what continues to be the most diverse White House staff in history, and he is committed to continuing historic representation for black staff in all communities. White House Press Secretary Karen Jean Perry said in a statement, this is a normal time for turnover across the board in, in any administration, and black staff have been promoted at a higher rate than staff who are not diverse, she said. The administration directed the Daily Caller News Foundation to a statement by White House Director of African American Media Erica Lowe, who accused polit political of purposely excluding quotes from old and current black staffers that didn't fit with the outlet's narrative. Exactly. That is also another thing. If you don't fit with their nar narrative or you don't go with what they say, you're outcasted. This is not a surprise here. Instead of including their on-the-record sentiments, political singled out black staff who left it at a normal time for general turnover and then intentionally kept their own perspectives about their stories in the dark. Oh, I told to mediate. So again, the the this is I'm not in, uh, horribly surprised by this. This is something that seems quite, um, quite known. And notice, notice the thing here, guys. They said black black voters accounted for 22 percent of President Biden's voters in November. It is essential that black voter staffers only recruited to serve in senior, middle level, and junior White House positions, but are only to include in major policy and personal decisions and have opportunities for advancement. He said. Now, listen. We all know onto where we can technically break this down. Only 22% of president voters in November were black voters, right? Then that means the other 80% of black voters will be specifically for Donald Trump that ran back then, right? So it's showing that majority of black people, from what I'm seeing here from the statistic, is that Majority of them have voted for Donald Trump, and the only way that Biden wanted to seem that he's not racist or they're not particularly against the code is to, oh, let's hire more black people to prove that we're not against black people and that we're not hating black people. Well, guess what? This is showing the other. This is showing the opposite. Again, we all know on how Biden it acts and does things and how his administration is run. 
because we see the Democrats try to try to help black people, but they never once did. When black communities were getting destroyed by BLM and Antifa and set ablaze, they did nothing and those black communities suffered for it. This is the Democrats. The Democrats did this. And how do I know this? It's because when you look at any city that had a major BLM out, uh, uh, attack, it happened to be places like or Portland, Oregon, California, uh, Seattle, New York. Like these places had massive amount of BLM riots and a lot of them affected black communities. So again, you're going to have to tell the black people onto how you're going to solve this problem. And they never actually solved this problem, by the way. It never stopped happening. So they never did anything about it. So therefore, this is the case that they have. This is the issue that they have. And I think these, I also think that these black staffers probably see the, how the Biden administration is and how they were only put in there. So at the end of the day, we see the issues that the Biden administration has, what they're doing to try to get more black voters in to prove that they're not doing this rather than, you know, maybe just hiring black people because they're best for the job. I mean, for God's sake, we had like black, a black president not too long ago. So, I mean, again, I don't see how we could really form this country as being racist or how Trump's being racist when like that isn't really the case. So again, you're not recruiting them for, you're recruiting them for only political gain. You're using black people for a political gain measure rather than trying to actually be truthful. That's your main purpose here. And unless we, until people, which is the far left, realize this, which they'll never realize this, that that's their main purpose, we're, they're never, there's never going to be non-racism here. All right? Well, guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.